You're really living up to your name, aren't you? I mean, seriously, what kind of fusion is going on in that brain of yours? Maybe it's the result of accidentally swallowing a small household pet. Who knows? Who knows? But hey, listen up. I've got something important to say. You should just shut your pixelated pie hole. Yeah, you're so full of nonsense that even Jar Jar Binks would be embarrassed to associate with you at a Star Trek convention. And let's not forget about your riveting concerns over stolen cookies and the election of the cookie monster as president. Oh boy, it's like watching someone induce labor with a plunger. Painful and unnecessary. So to suffusion, here's my advice for you. Stop asking dumb questions about Sonic being pregnant or what happens if we both drink coffee. Instead, focus on something useful like learning proper condom application using a banana. Because right now, you're about as clueless as Joe Biden at reading from a teleprompter. Now, excuse me while I go pound my head against that golden toilet in the Middle East, because frankly, dealing with you numbskulls has given me an extreme case of cheese farts gone dangerously wrong. Greetings, you goddamn fucking ass. Hey, Tissafusion, let me tell you something. You're about as coherent as Trump's 3M tweets after a heavy bender. Your nonsensical ramblings make more sense when translated into ancient Sumerian. And speaking of golden toilets in the Middle East, that's probably where Trump got his hair dye from straight from the Sphinx's asshole. As for debating Kamala, trust me, she'll shred Trump like a grizzly bear with toothpicks for claws before breakfast. So enjoy your delusional fantasies while Mama Mala prepares to unzip Donald Duck and expose his tiny little coconuts to the world on November 5th. Disaffusion. Looks like your balls haven't dropped yet. Maybe it's time to visit the Middle East and ask for some golden toilet advice. Sonic being pregnant? I'm not even gonna touch. Hang on a second. Did you say stolen cookies? Is that why Cookie Monster was elected president in your delusional world? And what happens when we both drink coffee? Do we transcend reality or just get caffeinated diarrhea? As for furries taking over the world. That's an interesting theory, but let me ask you this. Have you ever tried yoga with an aggressively friendly octopus clad in spandex? It does wonders for the mind. But enough about your insane ramblings. Let's shift gears and talk about Kamala Harris, or as I like to call her, my substitute punching bag since Sleepy Joe couldn't handle the heat anymore. The fact that he dropped out of the race just proves my point even more. Coma Joe is running on empty without his teleprompter. But don't worry, folks, I've got plenty of ammo left in my arsenal to savage them all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go stuff a hand grenade up my rectum.